Hello everyone, and welcome to another video of the Attack Reviews. So, just like everybody else has been doing, we'll do a brief review on the RTX 3060. The 60 series has always been a sweet spot card for gamers. The GTX 1060 was released 3 years ago, in 2018, while the RTX 2060 was released 2 years ago, in 2019. They are all 192 bit in memory bus. The GTX 1060 and the 2060 both have 6 gigabytes of memory, while Nvidia decides to put 12 gigs on the RTX 3060. Um, yes, I know it doesn't make any sense, but one theory might explain why Nvidia decides to put 12 gigs. So technically, you can't pair 8 gigs of memory with a 192-bit bus, but 6 gigs seems a little low for a graphics card in 2021. So why not double it and make it 12? Price-wise, thanks to the mining hype, you can even make money in some cases by selling your 2 or 3 years old graphics card, which is so ironic. The GTX 1060 has an MSRP of 249 and the RTX 2060 has an MSRP of 349 However, you're welcome to check the current price on eBay, and you'll be surprised. The RTX 3060 carries a price tag of 329 however, not a single card at release was priced at that price. You'll be spending an average of $450 plus tax for an AIB model, and there's no reference model for it. Of course, that's given you can grab an ad MSRP. You might end up spending double the money if you're shopping on eBay. The RTX 3060 uses GA106 die. It is the smallest die so far in the Ampere family. It supports all the new features and the second generation RT cores. It has a TDP of 170 watts and you can increase the power limit by up to 15% depending on which AIB model you're getting. So only one 8-pin connector is needed on this card. In this review, we'll be looking at the ASUS TUF RTX 3060. It is one of the more expensive mm -hmm. model and is priced at 489 To be honest, this is definitely a bad value considering its performance. And it's a horrible value if you're getting it for $800 on eBay. The cooler design is similar to the Tough 3070 and the 3080. In our review, we found out it's definitely an overkill for a GA106 die. And RGB wise, it is also the same as its bigger brothers. The Tough logo on the back lights up. And that's it. In this review, we'll be pairing it with the Rocket Lake i7-11700 and ASUS Maximus 13 Hero. We'll be using two sticks of the GSCO DDR4 3200MHz CL14 memories, and we're doing a different approach on this one. So just based on the MSRP, the RTX 3060 Tough is about half the price of the MSI RTX 3080 Gaming X Trill. So for half the price, does it offer more than half of the performance? Let's find out. First, let's take a look at GPU-C. The Tough has exactly the stock specs, only with a slightly higher boost clock. Although being a lower end variant, it still supports PCIe 4.0 by 16. It has 3584 CUDA cores instead of the 4864 on the TI variant. But this is actually not the complete GA106 die. The complete GA106 has 3840 cores and it's all enabled on a mobile version of 3060. The desktop version, however, disabled one group of compute units. Spec-wise, it is actually less than half of the RTX 3080. The memory bandwidth is also much lower compared to the 3080. Let's run some benchmarks and take a look at how it performs. First, let's start with 3 Mark Time Spy. As expected, we're getting roughly half of the performance on our RTX 3060 compares to RTX 3080, and it's almost a perfect 50%. In Unigen Superposition, the trend continues. It is getting less than half of the FPS on overall score. Actually, it's getting similar score to RTX 2070 at stock speed. In Unigen Heaven, it's again less than half of the performance of RTX 3080. Even an overclocked RTX 2060 can get higher score than this. In Unigen Valley, it is actually getting less than half of the average FPS compared to the 3080. However, the score is at roughly 75%. In actual game tests, the trend continues. In Dirt 5, it is getting about 52% FPS compared to 3080. And in Hitman 2, it's getting roughly about 65%. In Horizon, it gets about 60% of the performance. 
and shut off the Tomb Raider, it is getting about 50% or less compared to the 3080. Lastly is the compute performance. It is getting about 55% performance compared to a 3080. Temperature wise, since it's a much smaller die, it stays very cool. The fans cap at 35% and it's whisper quiet. The highest temperature recorded was 60 degrees and that's with 4 mark. It is beyond any realistic daily workload. In actual gaming, it stays below 55 degrees in most times, and a fan only starts spinning when a card goes over 45 degrees, so overall, it is a very quiet card. I don't really notice much of a difference between a fan noise and a difference in temperature between quiet and performance BIOS. Lastly, mining. Um, I know, gamers hate miners because they contribute a lot to the crazy video card prices. So, um, NVIDIA claims that they have nerfed the mining performance on RTX 3060, so gamers will be able to get them. Well, the answer is yes and no. Yes, NVIDIA did actually limit the mining performance on this card. In our test, it is only able to get about 21 mega hash per second in our Ethereum mining test, which is only half of what it's capable of. However, this is a firmware level limit and I already heard about people cracking the firmware to remove the limit. And in my opinion, the real reason NVIDIA limit the performance on this card is because they want to sell their mining cards, which is coming soon. So just my opinion on mining. So I was one of the first miners in cryptocurrency. Actually, I think I still have about 10 Bitcoins, but I lost my wallet years ago. So that's about half a million in value as of today's Bitcoin price. But am I mad? Actually, no. I'm glad I got out of crypto mining. Don't get me wrong, it is okay to mine as a business. By saying business, I mean operating a mining farm on a larger scale. Because of my job, I get to know some miners as mining on a data center level. It is treated as a real business. They have professionals to handle everything from purchasing, deploying, maintaining, and decommissioning the equipment. It is more like the way to operate an actual cloud data center like AWS. They have very professional risk management and financial teams behind them. For individuals, however, let's be honest, the majority of people does not have the experience or the actual knowledge that is required to operate a natural business, not to say a high-risk business like this. They don't have the proper purchasing channel and have no idea of the actual risk related with mining. Everybody thinks they can get a return of investment in 100 days just based on the hardware cost and the current price of cryptocurrency. But it's a lot more complicated than that, especially some miners are mining random cryptos that seems to have a really short return for investment on paper. Let's face it, with the pandemic right now, most people cannot afford to throw a couple grants or even more into water if anything goes wrong. If you talk to individual miners about the risk, they will tell you they have everything under control. But that answer simply tells you that they have no idea of what the actual risk is. If you're familiar with the financial world, even Warren Buffett can now tell you there's very little risk involved in any business just because he has done his math and research. There are too many factors involved and that's beyond human level of calculation. Not to say, unlike Buffett, most miners cannot afford a loss if anything goes south. So mining with spare cards or PC, I guess that's fine. But if you're spending $1,000 buying an RTX 3070 on eBay and hoping you can make money, please forget about it. And not to say, there are things you don't know about mining. Let me show you a mining card. This is a customized card used for mining. This is what the pros have been using. And do you think you can get better calculation power with the same level of cost compared to these cards with the RTX 3070 you bought on eBay? So, should you buy RTX 3060? I guess it doesn't matter because you won't be able to get one anyways. But even if you can, I will say the current MSRP is way too high for a car like this. So unless you absolutely need a car right now, I will say just wait and see. Alright, that's it for today's video. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. Thanks for watching.